so through a few added practices here, just your biggest takeaways so far? Yeah, I think it's been awesome. It's just uh, kind of trying to establish the play style and all that sort of stuff. I think the biggest thing when you get to pads is it's a big opportunity for us in the run game and the action game. Uh, you get dropped back a lot, obviously, out of when you're not in pads, but uh, that's been a big focus for us. How have you felt about what the run game is looking like so far? Yeah, it's been good. I, I think it's one of those things you spend a long time during the offseason not in pads, and so guys just got to get used to it, and it's, it's going to get better each and every day, and you just got to be patient with it. You got to keep going at it. You got to keep giving us opportunities for it, and uh, I think it'll help us in the long run. What do you assess how Justin's doing um, as far as what you've been teaching him and want him to implement out here? Yeah, Justin's been excellent. Um, awesome command, leadership, the whole deal, run, running the operation. I think he's done a great job. Um, obviously, this is your first year with Justin, but Austin was saying that um, he's just starting to see a lot more of a defense and be able to understand a lot more. I, I know this is your first experience with him, but as a fourth year guy going to his fourth year, what are you seeing as far as what Justin's able to identify by himself out there? Yeah, I think uh, just a big picture thought process by him, and I think that's been excellent. Just him understanding the defense, him understanding what we're trying to trying to accomplish with maybe a play call and the different adjustments that he may be able to utilize during a particular play. And so uh, I think just his vision, presence, command, I think it's been excellent. It's kind of an easy, maybe silly question, but just in that, off of Lindsay's question, what, what does that do when you have a quarterback for you, as a play caller, when you have a quarterback who can identify those things, what else does it open up or how does it ease your job? Yeah, I think it just, it gives you a toolbox. It allows us to to make adjustments within a game based off the defensive look. And I think that's huge that, that we can run a play versus a particular look or whatever it may be. Uh, I think Justin's just got really good command and presence and great communication with the perimeter guys, the receivers. I think they're all dialed. They're really, really on the same page. I think they've been able to build off of what they already had in place and then we're able to keep, keep continuing to build here. What have you thought of uh, Quentin Johnston's camp so far? Yeah, done a really nice job. Obviously, anytime you're a rookie, uh, you're going to kind of get thrown in the fire. Uh, he's going to be in a lot of different situations. And so I think that's he's done a really good job just handling that. Like he's going to make a bunch of plays. He's going to make a couple they wants back. He's going to make a couple little, you know, maybe alignment mistakes. But that happens when you're uh, a young guy the first time out there. And uh, I think he's done an excellent job. He, he keeps cleaning it up. He obviously is making plays each and every day. And so we're really excited about the role that he can provide us with. Young receiver like Quentin, what, what do you need to see in order to for him to start the season as a as a key part of the offense and all that? What sort of factors are there that he needs to show you that you can kind of trust him? Yeah, I think obviously the, the physical stuff I think will take care of itself. You know, he, he's we, we got him here for a reason. We, we see all that stuff. We're, we're pretty good there. I think it's just the it's just the alignment, all the all the communication stuff, making sure you're dialed on your assignment and all that. And so, I think it's fun to go through this with with younger guys that you know they're going to be asked to do a lot of things out here, and then we'll find what best suits them once we hit September. From Isaiah and Josh Kelly. Yeah. Uh, Awesome job, obviously. Austin's been able to get the reps they needs, and, and the other guys, we've been trying to get them as many as we can. And so both guys, I think, provide a very valuable role for us. We need depth in that position. You're going to need two, three running backs in the season. And so uh, we certainly have uh, visions for, for big roles for both those guys as well. How do you personally evaluate running backs in practice when you can't really see if a guy is, is breaking tackles? Austin was sort of just talking about that earlier. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think the biggest thing is just the process, right? Are we seeing it? Is our vision? Uh, and alignment where it needs to be. And, and certainly, you know, the break tackle, all that stuff will come into play as we go. But I think as long as the process is right, I think that's the main focus for us. So in addition to being on the field, the esprit de corps of the team right now, just the end of training camp, it's just starting in the middle almost. But um, can you give us an idea of what happens when you're not on the field, like the, the, the meetings, of the film, and all the other things in terms of a, of a training camp? Yeah, I think, uh, these days are very valuable because you know we get two hours out here but there's so much more to the day you know it's a 11 12 hour day whatever it is and so uh there's certainly a lot of meetings a lot of stuff where you know we're going to get one rep in practice we're going to get be able to clean it up and talk through it in meetings then we're going to get a walk through and so all those reps have to count it all has to be valuable opportunities because uh the look that we see in a meeting or in a walkthrough may show up in a preseason game a regular season game we never repped it out here but we need to be able to be prepared for those and so these are huge as part of the coaching staff, if some of the players want extra time, is that okay with you guys? Yeah, cer certainly. Uh, certainly our guys, I think we have the right group here, which is really fun. They all want as much as they can get. And so, uh, you know, certainly we're, we're resourced for those guys, and they do a great job preparing for practice. I'm assuming you guys working through some of the, the tempo. 
um, speed in, in some of those 11 on 11 goals. How's the implementation and installation of, of that going for you guys offensively? Yeah, we're just going through all the different situations that come up in the season, whether it's, you know, two minute, end of game, all the end of game situations, sometimes some normal normal situations. Uh, there's a lot of different, you know, situations in the football, football game. And so we're trying to hit all those. You kind of dabble in them throughout uh, training camp. And then as we get closer, we, we refine them and get them, get them ready to roll.